Yeah, I mean, very quickly, just over the last week, uh, we've seen close to 2,000 uh, who have crossed the English Channel. Uh, that's taken that total, according to our analysis, of just under 18,500. Uh, and we've seen, uh, for the first time, it seems, a change in tactic by the French authorities on a beach near Calais. Now, this is an incident that unfolded at the weekend on Saturday, in fact, at Gravelines uh, Tourist Resort between Calais and Dunkirk. You can see that boat on the beach. Uh, there was a group of migrants uh, running towards the sea with that when an unmarked police car came up and the police then set about puncturing that inflatable with a knife. Uh, after that, they then smashed up the outboard motor on the vessel. Now, people will probably be asking why on earth have they not been doing that since day one? It seems like a very obvious tactic. If you want to stop an inflatable boat getting into the water, then puncture it. I think probably it's to do with the fact that, clearly, as you could see there, there's 40, 50 people going on board these boats. Unless the police are there in significant numbers, then it might be a tactic that could backfire on them if those that were going into the sea decide to turn on the police. Having said that, I've been to Calais, and you've been there yourself, uh, and to Dunkirk, there are police everywhere. There are in the, the, the vans, the CRS, their equivalent of the public order riot squad officers. So they're certainly there in numbers. Uh, I think it's probably a welcome tactic as far as many people are concerned, but not before time. Mm. I think a lot of people will be seeing there were two reports that came out from the Home Office earlier in this week, and one of them was by Alexander Downer, the uh, longest-serving foreign secretary in Australia, who managed to sort of stop this or bring the numbers right down of illegal immigration. And he was saying, you must do more with the French authorities. You must negotiate more. And there was another deal last week. Do you think this has made them slightly more robust on stopping those dinghies coming in across? Well, the cynic in me might say that there is uh, an announcement due soon uh, in terms of a renewal of the payments that we are giving to the French authorities to bolster their presence on the beaches to stop these vessels going off in the first place. Um, but, yeah, you would like to think that perhaps there is more in the way of cooperation. I think Alexander Downer is absolutely right, though. Unless the French actually agree to take these people back when they arrive on UK shores through irregular means, then whatever anybody's doing, it really is just sort of prodding at a problem that is just getting bigger and more itchy all the time. Yeah.